welcome to legacy is academy today i am going to discuss another important topic of number system that is remainder theorem okay this remainder theorem upsc sometime it will ask direct questions and sometime it will ask indirect questions so first of all we should try to understand what is remainder theorem simply i want to say that like if i want to divide some number consider 27 multiply 34 multiply 41 by 8 okay i have two choice i have two choice one choice first i will multiply 27 by 24 i will get one number again i will multiply same number by 41 consider i am going to get number x again i can divide by x i can divide x by 8 it is a very lengthy process uh, uh, another way to solve this problem through remainder theorem remainder theorem says that if consider we have a number a b c plus d multiply e divide by m will be the same remainder as of a r b r c r plus d r e okay where a r is the remainder of a divide by m b r is the remainder of b divide by m c r is the remainder of c divide by m d r is the remainder of d divide by m same way so here in this particular questions we will try to get a remainder 27 divide by 8 remainder will be uh, it will be 3 Again, thirty-four divided by eight, eight four is thirty-two. Remainder will be two. So here remainder is three. Here remainder is two. Again, forty-one divided by eight, eight five is forty. Again, remainder will be one. So now I can multiply three two is six, one is one eight. Then answer will be six. so this is a very simple process we can get is this theorem is applicable for multiplication maybe division and uh, addition and the subtractions very uh, useful theorem which help to solve various types of the questions okay consider for example we have this uh, question man b divided by 12 what will be the answer So same way, we are getting a remainder of this, remainder of this, remainder of this. It is five, seven, nine. Again, five, seven, thirty-five. Again, we can see that it is again eleven. Again, eleven into nine, we are getting the answer. So here, what we have learned? We have learned whenever numbers are given like n one plus n two multiply n three. Minus n four, or we are dividing a number m. What can be the remainder? We can get very easy way. Okay. Now try to do some practice also. Consider I have given this particular questions. I will suggest stop the video. First get the answer, and then you can verify. First number like. We have seventeen multiply twenty three multiply one twenty six multiply thirty uh, eight divide by eight. So first remainder one, second remainder seven, third remainder maybe we can say that uh, uh, six, fourth remainder I can say that uh, when you divide eight uh, it will be around uh, six. Again one into seven into Six six is a thirty six. Again eight. So seven one is a seven. Here remainder will be I can say that four upon eight. So eight four is a again seven four is a twenty eight upon eight. It will be around four. So this is the way. Second, you will try this particular question very simple. Just try to divide. the giving number 
just try to divide the giving number by 12 like we have 24, 243, 245, 247, 251. I can write it 243, 243 plus 2, 243 plus 3, 243 plus like 43 plus 4 and 200 uh, like it will be uh, 249 and 243 plus I can say that 49 and 251, 49 will be 6 and 243 plus 8, 243 I can take the common, so 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 upon 12, I have discussed some of the even numbers, remember what is the formula, try to recall it, some of the even, uh, some of the even number will be n, n plus 1, n is 4, plus 1, 4, 5, it will be 20, ok. So, the sum of these number will be, uh, the numbers are 5, not the 4. Uh, like we have one one number also, so it will be some will be uh, some here like uh, 21, it is 21, again 12, now we can easily solve it and then this question again very easy, just try to solve this question and give your answer in the comment, you will solve this particular question also and this particular question also. Now come to second type, this is very very important concept of the number theorem using negative remainder, I can say that when I am when I am dividing 14 by 8, I am getting 6 by 8, ok. So, 6 is the remainder, I can write this as minus 2 also, like 8 minus 6. So, remainder can be either 6 or minus 2. Remainder will be minus, remainder will be 6 only, but I can write is minus 2 also. So, my point here is, this is like consider, we are writing, uh, I am writing like uh, 14. So, 14 I can write remainder minus 2, 15 I can write remainder minus 1, y 8 minus minus plus 2 upon 8, answer will be 2. So, this is the second best way to get a remainder. One way like I can solve 14 into 15 by 8, it will be 6, it will be 7, 6, 7 ja, 42 upon 8, remainder will be 2. Second way 6 to ja, 40, 6, uh, 8 to ja, 16, 16 minus 2, 16 minus 1 we will get so minus 2 and minus 1 upon 8 and 2 by 8. This is the second way to solve uh, the quotient. Consider this is the question. I can write minus 2 upon 53 and uh, minus 1 minus minus plus upon plus 2 upon 53 equal to 2. So, negative uh, using negative remainder is a second way to solve these particular questions. Now, come to the third type, like one thing we have talked about a remainder theorem, remainder theorem, ok. We talked about this theorem is applicable uh, subtractions, additions or maybe multiplication and the division. Simple way we talked about number n1 plus n2 multiply n3. Uh, minus n4 divided by m, we can easily get a remainder. Second thing I talked about, when we can get a remainder by using negative aspect, like when I we are going to divide consider uh, 17 into uh, 24 
डिवाइड बाई नाइन सो आई कर आईदर भी आई आई द रिमाइंडर विल बी एट और आई कैन सी डेट माइनस वन रिमाइंडर विल बी सिक्स और आई कैन सी डेट माइनस थ्री सो माइनस माइनस प्लस प्लस थ्री तो आंसर विल बी थ्री ओके अनोदर इम्पोर्टेंट डायमेंशन अनोदर इम्पोर्टेंट डायमेंशन वैन एवर द क्वेश्चन आर रिटेन इन दिस फॉर्मेट इन पावर फॉर्मेट हाउ टू सॉल्व इट ओके सो वी विल लाइक वैन एवर एनी नंबर रिटेन लाइक कंसीडर वी हैव रिटेन सेवनटीन की सेवनटीन टू दी पावर सेवनटीन अपॉन एट ओके सो वी विल ट्राई टू राइट दिस नंबर इन फॉर्म ऑफ और इन मल्टीपल ऑफ एट We can write 16 plus 1 upon 8 to the power 17. This is going to give a remainder zero. Okay, so this is the best. If you can express the expression, the remainder will become one directly. In such case, no matter how large the value of the power n, the remainder will be one. Okay, like consider we have this particular question 37. This is the power. We can write 37, like 36 plus 1 to the power 1, 2, 6, 3, 5 upon 9. When we divide 36 by 9, we are going to get zero remainder. Here zero. One to the power, whatever value it will be, the value will be one only. Then answer is one. Getting my point? Like I am giving, I am giving you here very simple question, but simple. This question may be little difficult. Like if I will get the value thirty eight, one two six three five by nine. Try to give a answer in the comment. Maybe in the next video I will say that how we can solve this complex uh, question here. Second way again negative aspect also. When you consider fifteen by eight. 15 to the power 15 divided by 8. What will be the remainder? We can write 16 minus 1 to the power 15 upon 8 minus 1 to the power 15 upon 8 and uh, minus keep minus power is odd odd number. Then it will be minus. So minus 1 upon 8. Then answer will be minus 1 upon 8. Then answer will be 7. Getting my point. So now we can solve some questions also. Let's see very simple questions like first question forty three. So forty three we can write forty two plus one to the power one nine seven upon seven. It will be zero one to the power one nine seven. Value will be one only. Then answer is one. Fifty one to the power two zero three upon Seven. So how to solve it? Like consider we have fifty-one. Uh, so we can write forty-nine, forty-nine plus two to the power two zero three upon seven. So here it will be zero. Now we have two to the power two zero three upon seven. So now we should make it eight. Like so we can write it two the power three. Um, now 200 is divided by 3. So what it will be? 3 six a 18. I can see that a uh, 23. 3 seven a 21. It will be 2. So I can write like 67. 67 into 2 to the uh, into 2 to the power 4. 2 to the power 2. Getting my point? How I wrote it? Now here again I want to see that it is seven. Now eight means seven plus one to the power sixty-seven. It to equal to four upon seven. It will be one, and then remainder will be four. All of you are able to get it. How it's how I solve it? Try to uh, I will I will suggest try to again. Uh, Uh, solve it and uh, put your comment. If you are not able to solve, just ask me tomorrow again. I will explain you now. See this particular question. Now I can say that I can write it like seven, seven, ja, forty-nine, seven, eight, ja, 
56 plus 3 to the power 28 by 7. How you will get the answer? What can be the answer of this particular question? Give your uh, write in your comment and then consider one more question. 67, 7, 7, uh, 9, ja, 63. So, 63 plus 4 to the power 99. I will suggest try to solve it. Maybe in the next video I will give the answers also. These are little long questions. So, here I gave some I gave some brief idea about the remainder theorem. And in this remainder theorem, you are able to solve the questions very quickly. And sometime like uh, in the UPSC, some of the questions they have asked directly on the based on remainder theorem. Sometime this theorem will be applicable indirectly also. Hopefully you are able to understand the remainder theorem. If anyone has any doubt regarding the remainder theorem, you can ask in the comment box. In next video, I will try to again uh, uh, explain that particular concept again. And maybe in the next video, I will take one more important uh, uh, topic of the uh, number system or maybe number system will take two, three more videos. Then we will come to the percentage, uh, average mixtures or other topics. Thank you.